Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Man, Antonelli here. Today, I want to talk mental game. I think this will really help players of all ages get to where you want to go. And that is to focus, to really be focused in on the process and not the results. So focusing in on what it takes to be successful and not just being successful, not just the end result or the outcome. So how do you do this? We're gonna get into it. The first thing is to really focus in on the things that you can control. And don't focus or worry about the things that you can't control. So control the controllables, not what you cannot control. And then the other thing is to focus 90% of your time on the steps that you need to take to get to wherever you wanna go, and then only maybe 10% of the time, so a very little amount of time, on where you actually want to go. So let's start off with the first thing, controlling what you can control, and then letting go of everything else. There's hundreds and thousands of things that are completely out of your control. Letting go of those, and again, focusing in on what you can actually control. So let's start off, I jotted down a little list here of things that are completely out of your control. Umpires, this is a huge one. You have no control over balls, strikes, outs, safes. Umpires you cannot control. Um, your coaches and what your coaches are going to do, the decisions they're going to make, the lineup choices that they make. Now, yeah, you can maybe you can perform a little better, work a little bit harder, but in the end, you can't write the lineup, right? So forget about the coach's decisions. Your batting average or your ERA if you're a pitcher, right? As a hitter, you can only hit the ball hard. You can get a good pitch and hit the ball hard, but you can't control where the ball goes after that. You can't control if the other team makes a great play. If you're a pitcher, once the ball leaves your hand, you can't control the ball anymore, right? So you've got to be focused on making a good pitch and not worried about things you can't control, like ERA, what happens to the ball once it leaves your hands? Does my defense make the plays or not? Wins and losses, right? So same thing, if I'm a pitcher, I can only do my job, and so I can do my job, and we might still lose. So you can't control that, so why even worry about it? How your teammates play, again, you can't control how other players are going to play. So worry about doing your best job, the weather the field conditions. So these are all things that you can't control and we could keep this list going over, you know, forever, okay? But those are just some things that come to mind. Now let's talk about what are some things that you can control, that you are in direct control of. So I've made another list. Your attitude, right? How you show up to the park every day with energy ready to go. Um, your body language. So how are you gonna react when something doesn't go your way, right? Are you gonna uh, slunch your shoulders, put your head down, poor me, my team stinks, I have bad luck, or are you gonna stand up tall and have good body language? Your preparation, did you put in the work beforehand? Or did you show up not having hit any extra BP, or not having fielded ground balls, or not having prepared for the game as far as stretching and getting your body ready to go, and nutrition, and sleep, all of those things. Preparation is a huge one. You are you are completely in control of your preparation. And then your effort. How hard are you going to play that day? How hard are you going to practice? These are all things that you can control. And again, we could list tons more. So by focusing on all these things that we just talked about, the controllables, these are the things that are going to influence how successful you are. And so focus on those. If you do a really, really good job of all those controllables that we talked about, if you do a really, really good job of zoning in on those and making sure that you're doing everything you can in that area, you will be successful way, way more than if you worry about all those things that you can't control because ultimately there's nothing you can do about those. So hopefully that helps you out. Just a quick little tip I wanted to throw out there that I think will help uh, players of all ages. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.